Hello Royal Kingdom Estate family, welcome back to the platform. This right here is the Motherland series and you know how it goes. We have interesting, lovely, wholesome conversations with people in Ghana and outside Ghana diasporas, everybody in general that has a story to tell, we give the platform to, you know, listen to it, learn what we come from it, and we all move on accordingly. So today I have a very wonderful woman in the house. She's so lovely. I started a conversation with her prior to this, and I can't wait to hear everything that she has to say today. So Miss Tori, yes. welcome to Royal Kinemist. Thank you for having me. How are you doing today? I'm doing excellent. Excellent. Yeah. Beautiful day to be on the motherland. I know. <laughs> I'm so happy to have you here. Yes, ma'am. So can you please, for the sake of our audience, tell us a bit about yourself, your background and your journey from the U.S. to Ghana? So I was in the military. Yeah. I did 10 years in the military um, as an accountant. Okay. And then I went back to school in IT. Mm -hmm. So I want to say around 2021 mm -hmm. is when I made the decision that I wanted to move abroad. Okay. Um, every year I travel for my birthday. So I've been to oh, several so countries. You're Yes, I've been to different countries. I've been okay. to Dubai. I've been to South Africa. Mm -hmm. I've been to um, shoot, Jamaica, Bahamas, wow. Mexico, Thailand. Mm -hmm. So going to these different places allowed me to be able to see the difference of living yeah. somewhere yeah. else. Yeah. And so I wanted to wait until I got out of the military for me to be able to figure out what I wanted to do for the rest of my life. Yeah. So when 2021 came, you know, we had that big COVID in 2019, yes. I was like, I'm moving. <laughs> <laughs> I'm moving from United yeah. States. And so at that time I put myself on a three year, okay. um, I would say, for me to be able to move. I put okay. myself like on a three year contract with myself, okay. like, hey, you need to do this, this, and this for you to be able to successfully just move. Everything out. Yes, because yeah. even though I was retired, well, not retired, but getting out of the military, yeah. um, I still financially wasn't ready okay. to move. So I wanted to make sure that I do that first. Okay. So that's basically my journey. But now I'm here. So I'm excited to see where this next journey begins. Yes, welcome, welcome to Ghana. As somebody that has been to all of these places, you've had the opportunity to travel and all of that, and now you're in Ghana, what is the one thing that you said has, hel uh, has helped shape your mindset or has helped you as a person that has traveled to so many countries and has seen different cultures and different you know, styles of living? So for me, um, being a bohemian, mm -hmm. um, you, we know that our money is dollar for dollar to the United States, so it's very expensive to live there. So when I was traveling, I actually was secretly trying to figure out where I could move that reminds oh. me of the Bahamas. <laughs> okay, and so You're trying to find that spot. Yes, okay. you know, where, you know, once I'm done and I get my finances together that yeah. I can successfully live, mm -hmm. you know, financially in that country. So I would say, I was going to South Africa, I must say, okay. but a good friend mm -hmm. referred Ghana and Kenya, because Ghana was not on the map for me. Yes, mm -hmm. I saw the land of return and all that stuff, but I it wasn't there. Think yeah, it, I just, it wasn't there. The yeah. yeah. So when I came last year for my birthday, I stayed 18 days, and okay. that's when it was like, oh God, I felt like I was back home. I was like, it was similar <laughs> to the Bahamas. Past similar is the wow. exact, except you don't have the water. <laughs> you, know? you don't have the beautiful right. water. The people, how nice you guys are. Uh -huh. The food, we eat spicy food, you know, the culture and even down to the roads. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I, I love that. And I was I like, see. I made that decision like, this is the place. This is it. And so, oh, what about South Africa? You know, uh, got your interest. Now they have a dance. We have something in my country called Junkanoo. Okay. It's um, something we celebrate during Christmas time. Mm. And when I went to South Africa, they did that dance at a restaurant, oh. and I cried. Oh. And so that touched me. So that's what made me choose South Africa. We can dance for you. Oh no 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 no! <laughs> Listen, you actually have it. We do. I, yes, you do. Um, I can't remember where it was. I want to say more in the eastern region. But you mm -hmm. dress up in wood, like box, um, box, um, like you draw and paint on the boxes, uh -huh. and you wear it, uh -huh. and then you basically perform. In, in front of your chiefs. We do the same thing and you perform and the winner wins. See? So we have something called Saxon Valley Boy. Yes. You know, Saxon Valley Boys, Music Maker, uh -huh. different, you know, mm -hmm. you would say tribe for us will be different um, unities yeah. in the Bahamas that we do. So that there, I was like, 
Okay, so it it's solidified. Yes, yes, it's solidified we're that I'm moving. We're close cousins. Yes, we are. We're very, very close cousins. I think we're sisters. We're sisters? Mm -hmm. Yes, I'm telling you. Okay, mm -hmm. same parents? Same daddy. Same. <laughs> That's the important <laughs> one. <laughs> same daddy. <laughs> okay, so switching to real estate. Mm -hmm. How did you find Royal Kingdom Estate? So I'm somebody who do a lot of research. I'm not, you know, just fly in the wind. So I did a lot of YouTube and I found you guys with you, actually. I don't know how you came on my timeline, we but, but you up. popped up. <laughs> and I had already had, um, I would say, had a commitment with someone else, okay. but that didn't fall through mm -hmm. the way I wanted it. So when I saw you, okay. I was like, okay, God, tell me if this is the right thing for yeah. me to do. So. I saw you again, and then you made a comment about home mm -hmm. on one of your channels, and it touched me because I'm like, yes, Aww. home is where I'm looking for. Yeah. So I sent the email, and I got a response, and I would say in less than four weeks, <laughs> I owned a piece of land. <laughs> less than four weeks. Less than four weeks. That means weeks. the process with RK was seamless. And oh, was yes, slow, no, so pro no problem at all. And mm -hmm. you know, the stigma with Africa is like rush, 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 yeah. right? And they want, want, want. But with for me, it was more like detailed. Yeah. And that's me. I look for detail. Like when I ask a question, are you going to give me a pushback? Mm -hmm. And I did. I felt like every move that I make, every step that I made yeah. was seamless and it was the right decision for me. And clearly it was. Well, we're so happy you found us. But um, when, especially on the Motherland series, I've had several conversations with diasporans where most of the times they have, you know, fake stories, if I should put it that way. Some of them, they look to relocating, they contact people and they go through, you know, tedious processes. Some people lose money in the process and everybody has a similar story in that regard. Does something of the sort happen to you? Of course it did. Oh my God. <laughs> I don't know why, because I am somebody that's like researched everything and I thought I had it down packed. So yeah. I'm gonna just give you a quick story. Um, I was trying to purchase an apartment yeah. um, before I even thought about a land. Mm -hmm. And the realtor. So you would think that you could trust a realtor, right? <laughs> so the realtor told me about this property and showed me pictures and videos and everything. And thank God I came to visit back in September because I already had gave the $3,000 as the deposit and it was no refund. Wow. So I was supposed to make the initial 20%. And so someone was like, go visit. Go see it. So I just, got on a flight and came. And when I came, the place have not been touched in years. The road was like, I mean, the pothole, you can literally sink a whole tire inside. Of it. And it was like, you could see the trees growing inside of the building. And I, it was heartbroken to me. So I contact her and I'm like, hey, I, at this point, I don't feel like my money should have been no refund because I'm giving you this money on a contingency that you have a property here for me mm -hmm. and it's not. So at this point, you frauded me, you lied to me, right? So she told me she will try and get my money back. She didn't, but I can honestly say that she did redeem herself because the how the um, department that I purchased now, she was able to find me. Okay. And I promise you, I put them people through the ringer. <laughs> like every question, every single thing. Yeah down to the deposit, I only send them $5. And I was like, you let me know. Exactly. So I, I made sure of all these things before I did. Yeah. And thankfully it did work out, but I did lose my $3,000 on I'm the so first property. I'm sorry. And I'm, I'm glad it worked out it in did. the end. And now you have a land with RKE. Yes. And what are the plants that you have for the lands that you bought from us? So for me, I bought two. Two so, plots? Yes. Okay. So I would like to probably- Where? When you say where, what do you mean? Gray like, City? Of course it's Gray City. Gray City. Gray City. <laughs> the view, give I me- to conduct a search on why everybody prefers Gray City at this point. Okay, well, I'm gonna tell you why you prefer Gray City. Uh -huh. Gray City is shows like where everybody is there from you, like, like the diasporas, people, oh. Americans, oh. Islanders, you know, Africans that's coming back home. Right. So everybody's going there and it, it gives you that like I told the mm -hmm. previous people, home, right? Okay, we're gonna be family. Right. But view is more like the view. So, okay. you know, it's, it seems like I want it, but I wanna be home, <laughs> you know? <laughs> like I can walk up there you and want go the see view it. view yeah. with your people. Exactly, you know? I so see. I chose Grace City because of that. It was like, 
eeny, meeny, miny, home, you know? <laughs> <laughs> I was just like, so if I do purchase it, because that is a, no, no, don't, I am thinking about it, mm -hmm. but I would like to build um, maybe a town home on okay. one and then my house on the other. Okay. So that's my goal. That's it's not concrete, great. but that's the idea. That's wonderful. <laughs> and when you're ready, do make sure you come to us, RK, will help you with the construction and everything. So you guys do that? We do. We oh. are construction services. That's what pe people forget that all the time. So we're trying to sound it as much as possible. We do build for clients. We have clients that we're doing full construction for. That's what we call the 10 key. So we build everything, then we hand you your keys, so and you're like, there you go. So even the architect as well? Yeah, everything. Oh, From drawing uh -huh. to the site to construction fully roofing it and then you have your property everything so let me get this straight uh -huh. so i will tell you my idea i'll take mm -hmm. it out of my brain give mm -hmm. it to somebody we that guide you we uh -huh. help you we advise you on it everything and then you take that mm -hmm. and put it on my land and you start you. to build it and A then you turn Z. around and give me the keys yes okay so don't don't take this word uh -huh. you know to heart because i'm not lazy but uh -huh. that is lazy proof so <laughs> I like that. I like that. I like they that. You. you know, because yeah. I don't mind, you know, getting my hands dirty, mm -hmm. of course, being in the army, because that's the branch I was mm -hmm. in. But at this point in my age, I would like someone to take on the responsibility of any troubles that I have. That's perfect. You that's know? what we're here for. And for people that like to be involved in the mm -hmm. process, of course, 100% you can be. Okay, well, then that's Because what the we're trying to give our clients is the peace of mind. Yes. The stress-free, mm -hmm. you know, process into getting your dream home. So we do everything for you. Well, this is good. Let's we'll talk about it. Please, I was going to say, <laughs> that is a conversation to be had. <laughs> That's wonderful. So now that you've been to Ghana, mm -hmm. you've experienced, you know, the country. What are some, you know, investment opportunities that you think diasporans can explore when they come here? Because that's one key thing when it comes to people relocating, because they're like, okay, I get the home, I get the land, I get the peace, but what can I do on the side? What are some of the things that I can, you know, invest in? So what, what, what advice would you give on that? I'm gonna tell you, um, my heart, the number one thing when I came in May was to open up jobs. Africans, look at the picture of United States as yeah. that's where to go. Mm -hmm. And me, who is an immigrant in that country, because I'm not American, yeah. I'm looking like, why, right? Yes, there's opportunities. I'm not going to take that away because yeah. I am here because of it. But for me coming here, I want to change the mindset okay. of creating what you can have here. Mm -hmm. So for me, if a diaspora want to come here, look at things that they have there that we can build here yeah. so we can create jobs here so we can make africa that number one spot like the like how we see united states yeah let let's switch it yeah right let let, that let's, be africa. yes let that be africa everybody want to come to africa yeah. which right now yes it is and we having our africa's having its own trials and yeah. you know stuff that they got to get done but i think if we come with what we know there mm -hmm and bring it here yes if we can do that i think we would be good it's, it's sometimes you get people coming in and they don't want to you know create they just want to benefit mm -hmm. everybody would just want okay what can i inherit what can i get what can i get but if we all come together and be like okay how can we change the mm -hmm. system how can we make things better yes. for everybody exactly not just ourselves? Mm -hmm. then we can all collectively live here in harmony yes and it will be amazing yes so Wow, I've learned so much from you. But one thing, one last final thing before we run away, you you touched on you know being happy to be at Grace City because you have you know people that share the same vision and everything. And this is what we're trying to build at Royal Kingdom Estates. We don't just sell lands and properties. We're trying to build cities with people that feel like they belong, that they have a home here. Mm -hmm. How does how does that make you feel having to move to Ghana? So I'm going to be honest, yeah. um, when I moved the first two days, I was emotional, right? right? Um, because I can't believe I actually upped and moved with no family or friends. Just it's you. different than moving state to state. I yeah. can take a plane, a mm -hmm. train, a bus, a car, yeah. you know, but to move bodies and bodies of man away yeah. or water, I should say away. So. I would say after the second day, I was smiling. I went out last night to get my lashes done Aww. and I was walking in the street and I just had a big old grin. <laughs> and I'm just like, I did it. Like I'm <laughs> so proud of yourself. Like, like I'm actually walking yeah. by myself mm -hmm. at night mm -hmm. 
with no problems. And I'm just like, I'm here. Tori, you're here. And yes, and I'm happy now. So I'm I can't so even, it's like, I can see it. I can see the happiness <laughs> on you and you're glowing. Yes, I'm so happy. So <laughs> I just want the same feeling yeah. to anybody mm. that's in United States or anywhere else that yeah. they can come here and feel that peace and freedom that I have That's within wonderful. myself. That's so lovely. Well, Miss Tori, thank you so much for coming of today. Of course, of course. It was lovely listening to you. Yes, ma'am. And guys, I hope this video has been helpful and entertaining to you. Please do subscribe to the channel. Turn on your post notifications if you can so you don't miss any of our content. We'll be back with more. Stay glued to the channel.